right, everybody. Welcome back to the show, and it's time for today's comedian. Now, he comes from Arlington, Massachusetts. Please welcome back to the show, Mike Pryor. Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, I am so psyched to be here. I actually teach eighth grade. And uh, I love teaching eighth grade, but people always give me crap. They're like, oh, you're so lucky. You're a teacher. You get July and August off, February and April vacation. Yeah, let me explain to you folks the July and August theory. Well, all you people are down the Cape or up in New Hampshire or Maine on vacation. Teachers like me who've had your little rugrats for the last nine months are in treatment for substance abuse. <laughs> Oh, man, I am in a good mood. It is great to be here. A um, buddy of mine always gives me crap because he teaches in like these, one of those really fancy prep schools. He's like, oh, I'm so lucky. I have all my kids. They love to learn. My parents are so involved. He actually said, I have nine kids in one class. I teach in a public school. I have nine kids in one seat. <laughs> He's like, and then he, then he actually said this to me. This one freaked me out. He's like, you know what? In my system, if my kids don't learn, they stay back. Oh, isn't that so cool? <laughs> yeah. There's no staying back in Mr. Pryor's class. You ever heard that no child left behind? That's my class. <laughs> oh, my God. It's good to be here. I, uh, I'm broke. And if you are broke, folks, it's not your fault. I swear to God it wasn't mine. In the mail two months ago, I got a pre-approved Citibank gold card with a $50,000 limit. What the hell were they thinking? <laughs> All right, you're nine people, but you laugh like six. You got to pick it up. Let's go. <laughs> All right, there we go. You guys computer people? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I hate computer people. Let me explain to you why. You guys scared the heck out of me a few years ago. This was me at my house, Millennium Night. Three, two, one. <laughs> And none of you people talk to anybody anymore. I'll email you. Hey, I'll IM you. Ooh. You want to be on my Facebook page? Didn't you beat me up in high school? <laughs> and now you're sending me a virus. Fantastic. <laughs> you guys are laughing. This is the greatest job in the world. Best part about this gig, folks, no interview. I walked in here tonight, and the manager of the Catso show goes, are you one of the comedians? I go, yes, I am. He goes, are you funny? No. <laughs> they ask you stuff on job interviews. They know you can't answer. Knowing this, you got to give them answers to questions. You know they don't want to hear. First question, where do you see yourself 10 years from now on another interview? <laughs> question number two, what valuable skills did you learn in college that would make you an excellent member of our company? Well, I can shoot a quarter off my nose into a shot glass. <laughs> I'll find me alcoholics. I'll get to you folks in a little bit. <laughs> Sorry if there's no booze in the Steve Katzo Theater. <laughs> I'll tell you this, guys. You are laughing here tonight and having a good time. And if you're laughing at home, that's really good because laughter is key. It's just crazy out there. I got mugged two weeks ago. Yeah. There's a criminal who really enjoys a challenge. <laughs> if you didn't get the joke, take a gander towards the stage. I'm five feet four, ten pounds overweight, and as blind as a bat. I'm a professional victim, for Christ's sake. <laughs> You can pretty much get my money with a squirt gun. Put the knife away. <laughs> Thanks a lot, folks. You guys have been a lot of fun. All right, everybody. Mike Pryor, everyone. We'll be right back with him right after this. Uh -huh. 